What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You know who it is by now. Jimothy. Now ladies and gents, it has been a solid week since I have uploaded. My apologies, a lot going on at home as you can imagine. But it is what it is and we are back, back with another deck profile. And today we're profiling flower cardians. Now I do actually own these physical cards and I will leave a little clip during this um, deck profile just to show you that I actually own these cards. But the reason I'm going through this deck profile on EDO Pro is mainly because the nature of this deck and just being able to see all the card text at once i thought was probably a little bit more invaluable so without wasting any more of your time let's get straight into the profile so starting us off we have um the smaller flabber cardians i like to call these ones the baby ones these are basically your play starters um there's nine in total so each of these ones you can actually normal summon or you can actually special summon so what pine allows you to do if it's normal summon is just basically draw one card um, and if it's a flower card a monster then obviously you can keep it if not then you have to send it to the graveyard um, and if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard um, you can draw a card so a lot of the flower cardians get their effects off by actually drawing cards you can actually draw through a majority of your deck and loop these cards continuously because majority of the cards are not a hard once per turn on majority of their effects so uh, moving on we've got flower cardian cherry blossom with curtain now this is just an easy special summon so you can um, reveal this card in your hand draw a card and if it's a flower cardian monster you can special summon this card um, which is really really good um, you can also discard it it's kind of like a bit of an honest way you can discard it from your hand to give one of your flower cardians um, 1000 attack that does not come up a whole bunch but to be honest you are just using this for the special summon and the draw effect as you can see ladies and gents just to keep with the consistency most of the cards are flower cardian cards next up some of the newer support flower cardian cherry blossom so if you control a level two or lower flower cardian which would be pine in this case you can special summon this card and then you're locked into flower cardians if you do so you can also tribute this card and um draw a card and if it's a flower cardian monster you can take a flower cardian monster from your deck except uh, flower cardian cherry blossom and either add it to your hand or special summon it so basically what this one allows you to do is special summon any of your non-tuner flower cardian monsters um, or the ones that do not require a tribute so you're looking at basically your uh, monsters that you can just special summon for free um, which i'll come over uh, get onto in a moment next we're running a uh, flower cardian peony with butterfly this is just one of the um two tuners that you play in the deck so you kind of max out on these because you want to see them so to be able to special summon this card you actually have to tribute a flower cardia monster um it can be any flower cardia monster so it does come up and you can also treat this card as a level two um if you want to um synchro with it and you can treat all other monsters as a level two you do not have to but you can do if you want to so definitely something to pay attention especially when you're going into some of your synchro play next we're running two flower um, cardian clover with boar and one flower cardian maple with deer boar basically you have to tribute a flower cardian to special summon this card and then you can draw one card and if it's a flower cardium card or monster you can actually pop a card on the field or pop a monster on the field so uh, clover with board deals with monsters and maple with deer deals with back row so just a nice little balance you can actually swap maple with deer out and actually put in another clover with ball well, i just like having a bit of the versatility just because you don't know what you're going to come up against or if you don't know if you're going first or second it's just nice to have that in and it's an easy side out next we're running um flower cardian with with calligrapher this is your other tuner of the deck you actually have to special summon this card by tributing willow and um, flower cardian willow which is not an actually difficult thing to do because willow is one of your most played cards in this deck which we'll get onto in a moment but you do need to play this tuner um, if it's special summon you can draw one card um, then if it's a flower cardian monster you can special summon it um, majority of the flower cardian monsters have that effect next we're playing um, triple flower cardian with polonia again you can special summon this one for free so these are the cards that you can special summon out quite easily if you control a level 11 or lower flower cardia monster you can special summon this card so when it's targeted for an attack you can just negate the attack in the draw in the battle phase and draw a card so it's a nice little effect um especially as your opponent probably won't read all your flower cardian cards especially rate at which they come out 
um, and then next we're playing flower cardium with willow this is probably the best card in the deck um, apart from your starters so what willow allows you to do if you control a level low level 10 or lower flower cardio monster you can special summon this card and then you can actually um, shuffle back one of your flower cardio monsters from your graveyard into your deck to just draw a card just as simple as that and it is not a hard once per turn so if you manage to just continuously loop these you can actually shuffle back itself um, you can continuously just draw cards ladies and gents which is just it's absolutely crazy next we're running um triple flower cardian with zebra grass so when it's summoned you can actually mulligan your hand it's a bit a little bit like phantasmi in a sense of you can shuffle cards back into your deck and then draw cards equal to the amount of cards shuffled um so it's a nice little uh, tech and it can actually fix your hand sometimes depending on what you've started off with next we are playing three flower stacking so basically you can stack stack the top top cards three top cards of your deck um just to have flower cardio monsters and um, to be able to resolve their effects which is really really useful you can also banish this card from your graveyard target one flower cardio monster in your graveyard and add it back to your hand so typically you're going to be adding back your willow as long as you got some kind of field presence to be able to shuffle back one of your um, flower cardio monsters and draw you can't use both of the effects um in the same turn ladies and gents so you need to bear that in mind one reinforcement of the army as it is a rotor and all of these are warrior for some reason even though they're cards uh triple super koi koi um excavate the top three cards of your deck and special summon as many flower cardia monsters as possible you can also banish this card from your graveyard tribute one fl uh, monster and special summon one flower cardia monster from your hand ignoring its summoning condition so this can actually fix your hand as well if this manages to end up in the graveyard which is something that's e quite easy to do um so yeah also recard the nation probably one of the best cards um what you've got set up so you can target a flower cardio monster in your graveyard add it to your hand and then you can special summon a flower cardio monster from your hand ignoring its summoning conditions now if this card is milled to the graveyard because if you don't um, hit a flower cardio monster with all your monster effects you actually mill cards to the graveyard you can excavate the top five cards of your deck and actually add a excavated spell or trap to your hand so that could be anything ladies and gents but majority of the spells and traps we play are flower cardians and then finally we've got um flower gathering so this is basically a soul charge from deck so you can special summon any of your um monsters that have a hundred attack so typically you're looking at your non-tuners so if you do have a couple of tuners in hand but no way to get them on the field and you've got flower gathering um you can actually special summon four flower cardian monsters from deck which is crazy because it's like an instant synchro basically um so yeah next onto the extra deck really budget extra deck i'm not running anything else other than the flower cardian so light flare 5000 attack uh, negates monster effects when they battle and it also is a spell and trap negate really really good card um the the negating monster effects during the battle state or damage step is really really good ladies and gents something that you need to pay attention to um we've got one flower cardian light shower basically allows your uh, flower cardians not to be targeted or destroyed by card effects it also does a mandatory burn in the standby phase in each standby phase and then um during the I think it's end phase, I believe you have to activate one of the effects so either you skip your draw phase of your turn or you negate this card's effect which is something you don't really want to do because its effect is really good so typically you're going to skip your draw phase but with the amount of drawing that you do in flower cardians it's not really a big thing um next flower cardian board flyer on two of him he basically just locks down your graveyard so your opponent can't special summon monsters from their graveyard or banish them which is useful and then we've got a bit of a extender in flower cardi and moon flowering she's actually a tuner as well and you can treat her as a level two if you want it's actually optional um but it's for more time it's just a bit of an extender just in case you draw an awkward hand and you you need to get some um, flower cardio monsters out of your hand so ladies and gents that is it that is the deck profile definitely a fun deck profile nothing too serious um i'm gonna leave you guys with just what i was fooling around when i was doing some test hands against the ai on edo pro now ladies and gents i will say learning the combos because the combo lines are not linear on this deck is just absolute headache but once you get it down you can actually do some crazy things and end up with at least two maybe even three synchro monsters on field so definitely a deck you need to pay attention to um and it's just a lot of fun it's just a lot of fun so we have come to the end of the video i'm going to leave the replay at the end if you did like this content be sure to like share 
subscribe all of that good stuff and i will definitely definitely see you guys on the next video hope you enjoy peace